Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 6th, and today was a beautiful day outside weather-wise, absolutely gorgeous, um, started off with a nice little chill in the air, warmed up, sun was out almost all day, got up in the 70s I think, I didn't really look per se, I know it was hot enough that outside mowing and running stuff, I had a good sweat going, so that was definitely a good temperature for me. Never really felt like I was super hot, just kind of felt like it was just a really overall good day for temp-wise. So, got a handful of things done around here at the house, um, nothing real major. Headed out um, to the rental, went and kind of worked on it again. Got a bunch of stuff hauled out of it. I had just a handful of stuff that was on the porch that needed to be put in the trailer to haul off the dump. So I went ahead and got a couch and a couple chairs and stuff that were just kind of gross and just kind of old out of date and just really not been cleaned in years. Um, got them thrown in the trailer also. Hauled it off. I think it was, I don't know, like 40, 50 bucks worth of stuff in the trailer. I think it's my third or fourth trip in that damn trailer now of just load after load of stuff coming out of the house. It's just virtually all trash. There's like been really nothing of any real value in that place. Um, there was a ton of like just memorable type stuff. The family had no interest in that. Just nobody cared it's one of those sad things when you look at life and you look at how your whole life can be wrapped up in just trailer fulls of crap going to the dump it's just i don't know it's a sad state when families fight and families argue and they don't get along and they can't work things out and they just have no concern you have an 80 year old woman's entire life and memories and cards and all kinds of junk that nobody seemed to want but they definitely wanted the TV instead. So it's just a sad thing when you have that. It kind of makes you really look at your life and kind of wonder where you'll be and how it'll be, you know, when you pass and when you get old and when you are, you know, able to take care of yourself anymore, all that kind of stuff. So definitely it's just, I don't know, it's kind of the more I, I'm over at that house, the more I feel sorry for her and the more I feel sorry for the whole family. Just the whole fact of how they can't get along and there's just, I don't know, just issues and the whole thing. And not just them, but all families. I mean, everybody's got their own issues in their past. Um, families don't get along. There's drugs, alcohol, abuse. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there that just seems to make things sad. And nobody can just kind of talk it out. And everybody wants to hold a grudge. Nobody wants to actually just discuss what's going on and figure it out and move past it. So... Who knows? I'm not that kind of guy. I'm more of the type that if I have a problem with you, I'm going to tell you um, pretty quick. And it's one of the reasons why I don't have a large group of friends. Um, I have a very small, tight group of friends that are super important to me in my life. But they're ones that I know I can count on. And I have a lot of acquaintances, but they wouldn't call them friends. So that's pretty much um, that I got there done. Um, like I said, I got to the dump, got the landfill, dumped all that crap off, got back, um, ended up mowing the yards with that stupid Fisker um, push mower. I mean, the thing's badass, uh, works great for what it is, but it, it just doesn't take much. The tiny little stick or something kind of bends the blade that I'm out there working on the file and stuff, trying to get it, you know, back together, the hammer and get it all straightened up so I can use it again. There's just a few little issues there. It's definitely much more for a manicured lawn than what I have. And it is a giant workout. Like I said, it should be like a 25, 35, 40 minute job at most with my riding mower with all the yards I'm mowing. And I'm taking three hours to mow this stupid yard now. And it definitely, definitely sucks. So I need to get back out there. I didn't get the mowing done like I was going to do last Friday because I knew I had the, um, I was going to run the marathon Saturday. So I didn't want to do it. So I put it off and that grass got a little taller and just makes that so much more of a work. It's, it's a hell of a lot different. We need to skip a day. I could have raised the blade up and done it, but I went ahead and said to piss on it. Just went ahead and mowed it at the normal height. And it all got done. There's a few patchy spots where I kind of missed where the grass is a little bit too tall. So I figured I'll go back out there tomorrow. And if it don't rain, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little run over it. If not, I'll definitely mow again probably Friday, which this is Tuesday. So I'm definitely going to be a much quicker you know, mow on it. So I should get it all cleaned up and get it back on track for every Friday to mow. So... Other than that, I um, went and got my run on. Actually, I guess what I had a friend stop by that their bike was all screwing up. They couldn't get their chain to shift right on their sprockets and stuff. So lubricated all their chain up, their um, cables up, all that kind of stuff. Got their bike shipped and that. They were able to finish their little 10-mile ride they were doing. And that felt good to be able to simply fix something so quick. They left. I went for my run. Um, I only ran like a mile and a quarter today. Didn't really feel... Wasn't feeling the running thing after being out there pushing that mower. It's amazing the different muscles I use, my glutes and stuff, and just the different you know ones I'm not used to. So 
Got that all taken care of. Came home, watched a little bit of Netflix. Um, had myself a bagel and a fruit smoothie for dinner. Definitely not the most um, unique um, dinner, but it was good. So, got, can't beat that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Call it a night here. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thank you for watching.